what the NBA will look like in 2020. With the 2019-2020 season well underway and many teams competing for relevancy and playoff spots, it is pretty clear who the best teams are. It is not too difficult to tell which teams have a chance to be holding the Larry O'Brien Trophy at the end of the season. But there are some questions that many fans would like answered. Who is set up for many years of competing at a high level? Which teams are aging and have a short window to win? What teams have a lot of young talent but are a few years away from truly being able to hang with the top dogs? Who are the league's next superstars and whose reign may be coming to an end? You will be surprised when you see what the NBA will look like next year and beyond. Bucks atop the East With Giannis Antetokounmpo leading the NBA MVP race for the second straight season, the Milwaukee Bucks sit at 21-3, holding the best record in the league. If the Bucks stay healthy, they will be the number one seed throughout the entire NBA playoffs. The Greek freak is only 24 years old, which is an extremely scary proposition for the rest of the league. He is only scratching the surface of what he is able to do and is well on his way to his second straight MVP award. The Bucks have three players other than the freak averaging double figures and with a lot of lethal outside shooters, opposing teams find it very difficult to contain the Bucks. With Kawhi Leonard moving to the Western Conference, the Bucks are clearly the favorites in the East to get to the finals. Although everything seems very positive around the Bucks organization, there is an enormous decision looming in the summer of 2021. Unless he resigns with Milwaukee before then, Giannis will be a free agent two summers from now. He will have the opportunity to sign anywhere he wants and every single team in the league will be interested. Would the Greek freak want to go somewhere warmer like Miami or Golden State? Would he prefer a franchise with more storied history like the Celtics or Lakers? Would he simply want to go somewhere where there's a lot of young, up-and-coming talent like the Phoenix Suns or Sacramento Kings? The Bucks are hoping they can build around Giannis and give him enough of a supporting cast where he would not be tempted to go elsewhere. Chris Middleton is the second best player on the Bucks roster, but he is not a top 20 player in the NBA. If you take Giannis off the Bucks right now, they would be lucky to sniff a playoff spot. Make no mistake about it, the upcoming decision of Giannis Antetokounmpo is something that will shake up the NBA for the next decade. The Celtics are coming With the departure of the poison Kyrie Irving, the Celtics have vastly improved. They have the third best record in the NBA, and with Irving's ego out of the way, the Celtics' young talent have been able to flourish. The core five players of the Celtics are pretty obvious, and with all these players under 30 years old and signed to a contract through next season, the future is extremely bright for the green. The two bright young stars for the Celtics, Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, are both under 24 years of age. With Tatum being the next Celtic star in line for a big contract, if Danny Ainge is able to keep the core of the team together, Brad Stevens' squad will be a viable contender in the NBA for many years. Gordon Hayward is only 29 years old, and when he becomes a free agent after next season, he will most likely want to resign with his college coach and the organization that has stuck with him and have been very patient throughout his difficult injuries. With Kimba Walker also 29 years old and Marcus Smart only 25, the Celtics are just beginning to show the rest of the league what they can do. They are not finished building their roster and still would like to add a physical presence inside. With Ennis Cantor and Daniel Theis manning the middle and being only 27 years of age with affordable contracts, the Celtics love the position they are in. Do not forget they have a great draft pick coming their way from the Memphis Grizzlies earlier this year or next year. The Celtics will be able to draft one of the top five players out of college, which will add to their already impressive young core. Two years ago, the Celtics were one game away from reaching the NBA Finals. Since then, they upgraded when they basically traded Kyrie Irving for Kimba Walker, added a healthy Gordon Hayward, and players such as Tatum, Brown, and Smart have improved. If the rest of the league has not already figured it out, they will realize something very soon. The Celtics are coming. LA will win the West. The best two teams in the Western Conference hail from Los Angeles. There is a strong feeling around the league that the winner of the West will come from Hollywood. The question is whether it will be the Lakers or Clippers. The Lakers have the best record in the NBA, boasting an astounding 23-3 record. They have two MVP candidates with LeBron James and Anthony Davis, and with a handful of former All-NBA defenders, they will be extremely difficult to get through in a seven-game series. The question around the Lakers will be if they have enough outside shooting to beat teams with a lot of offensive firepower. They will hope with defenders like Davis, Avery Bradley, and Dwight Howard that they can turn games into slugfests and out-physical their opponents. The Clippers flaunt the second-best record in the West and were the favorites to win the title coming into the season. They feature two of the best two-way players in the league, with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, which bodes well when you have to face big-time scorers in the postseason, such as LeBron James, James Harden, and Luka Doncic. The Clippers have a lot of dogs on their team. In other words, there are many players on that roster that are simply focused on winning and will do whatever it takes to make their team better. Players like Montrezl Harrell and Patrick Beverly are as tough as they come, and when the postseason rolls around, they will not be intimidated by anybody. It is too early to determine who is the best team in Los Angeles. But one thing is certain, the road to the NBA Finals goes through Los Angeles. Nuggets and Mavericks are rising 
The Denver Nuggets and Dallas Mavericks both are ranked in the top five in the Western Conference. The Nuggets finished with the second best record in the conference last year, and although they are not playing as good this year, it is very clear they are a team on the upswing. Their best player, 22-year-old Jamal Murray, is averaging over 17 points per game and has an offensive game that most players envy. Mikola Jokic, the 24-year-old center, is averaging a double-double and is thought by many to be the most skilled big man in the league. Other key contributors, Jeremiah Grant, Gary Harris, and Monty Morris, are all 25 years old or younger. If the Nuggets are able to keep their talented core together, they will be toward top of the league for many years to come. The dynamic duo of Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis the Dallas Mavericks are able to put on the floor is a very scary proposition not only for this year, but moving forward. If this duo is able to stay healthy and Porzingis continues to improve after major knee surgery, the sky is the limit for this team. Doncic is only 20 years old and he is nearly averaging a triple-double. Imagine what he will be doing in three to four years from now. Porzingis seems like he has been around for a long time, yet he is only 25 years old. Key pieces on this team, such as Jalen Brunson, Dorian Finley-Smith, and Tim Hardaway Jr., are still in their mid-20s. The Mavericks may have to add one more wing score to truly compete with the best leagues come playoff time, but with their talent being young, they could have many great seasons ahead of them. Only time will tell, but we should all keep our eyes on the Mavericks. Rockets and Blazers Windows Closing the Houston Rockets and Portland Trail Blazers have been very competitive for many years. The Rockets were led by James Harden and Chris Paul, while the dynamic backcourt tandem of Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum led the charge for Portland. With neither team being able to get past the Warriors, some would have thought this year would have been a perfect opportunity for these teams to get to the finals. The problem? Even with the Warriors taking a huge step back by dismantling their team, many squads improved. Teams like the Clippers, Lakers, Mavericks, and Jazz all improved and are hoping to get a nice seed for the playoffs. Although the Rockets are still positioned in a solid spot in the West, their roster is comparatively old, and their window of opportunity is closing. James Harden and Russell Westbrook, their two best players, are both in their 30s, and most of their pieces around them are even older. P.J. Tucker is 34 years old, Thabo Sefalosha is 35, Gerald Green is 33, and Eric Gordon is 30. The Rockets are definitely a contender, but if they do not make a deep run this year or next, they may break their team up. Houston, we have a problem. The Trailblazers, on the other hand, have not had the high expectations the Rockets have had over the past few years, but after making it into the Western Conference Finals, they hoped they could build off that coming into this year. Portland made it clear they're in a win-now mentality when they signed future Hall of Famer Carmelo Anthony to hopefully give the Blazers a third scoring punch for the season. Melo has played well, but the Blazers have definitely underachieved. Hassan Whiteside has also been added to the roster, and with Lillard and McCollum still in their late 20s, the Blazers feel like they have some time to compete with the top teams. Unfortunately for them, if the playoffs started today, they would not be in them. A lot of teams will start to call the Blazers, asking about the availability of Lillard and McCollum, and if things don't turn around quickly in Portland, one of them could very well be on their way out. And that is something that the Blazers just can't afford. Doncic, Tatum, and Booker emerging. Anybody who follows the NBA knows the league is filled with bright young stars. The league is in good hands in the present and in the future. Three of the brightest stars are Luka Doncic, Jason Tatum, and Devin Booker. Doncic is turning the Dallas Mavericks into one of the most exciting teams to watch and, as mentioned earlier, is still not even allowed to drink alcohol after a big win. He is averaging over 30 points, 10 rebounds, and more than 9 assists. Luka has exceeded all expectations coming into the draft and he shows no sign of slowing down. Luka's youth, combined with his abilities, make him one of the best upcoming stars that will be amazing to watch for years to come. Jason Tatum does not put up the numbers Doncic does, but by watching Tatum move around the court for 10 minutes, you can see the star he is going to turn into soon. Him never shying away from the big moment is one of the major reasons for the Celtics' resurgence this season, and he is only 21 years old. Tatum has an offensive repertoire that most NBA players envy. The game seems to be moving so slow for him, and it is quite obvious he never feels overmatched. This is a very good sign for the Celtics considering JT is one of the franchise's cornerstones, along with 23-year-old Jalen Brown. Devin Booker is a problem. If the season ended today, the Phoenix Suns would make the playoffs. This is due mainly to the spectacular play of Booker. He is averaging over 21 points a game while shooting over 35% from three-point land. Booker is only 23 years old and he has already scored 70 points in one game. There are only five other players to ever score 70 or more points in a game, which already puts Booker in elite company. It is very obvious that the league is in very good hands moving forward, with not only the great teams across the league, but the up-and-coming stars as well. Final Thoughts Jalen, Jason, Giannis, Gordon, Kimba, Marcus, Ennis, Daniel, LeBron, Anthony, Avery, Dwight, James, Luca, Montrezl, Patrick, Jamal, Nicola, Grant, 
Monty, and many others. With so many names, so much talent, so many decisions, and so much at stake, the 2020 NBA season is shaping up to be an exciting, eventful experience. With so many players at the top of their game and many more coming into their stride, this season should be one to look forward to. Don't miss it.